Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That's Toledo, Ohio. 4361741931609. Uh, Instagram at JC's Comics and More. And then www.jccomicsandmore.com and web or email JC's Comics and More at Hotmail.com. All right. Got these new comics. We did one box. This is boxing number two. I'm going to make sure that uh, this gaming trade magazine gets this, works its way over to Checkmate uh, Games here in the uh, in the uh, the St. James Plaza. They uh, do magic. They do Dungeon Dragons. They do a great, great, great job. And we see we've got our free comic book day poster already. Let's put that in the window in about another couple of months. So save the date. That's on... Uh, may the 4th be with you. Okay. See what kind of great comics are this week. It's a big week. Not quite as big as I thought. I think there's only like 73 titles. I thought there'd be over 100 titles. But there's just a lot of comics coming out this week. So I have a lot of comics. So we've got Action Comics 1008. This is the regular cover. I'm going to try to keep track of the camera. I guess sometimes it does go out of focus as I've been been told so i'll try to keep an eye on that for you guys usually i just try to get the stuff banged out and uh go from there so i'm going to try to try to keep an eye out on the camera because sometimes it does its own thing got my previews order form because previews is coming out see we got superior spider-man number three this is the captain marvel the ms marvel carol danvers cover so we've got a few of those that'll be available we got cover A of Sonic the Hedgehog, so Sonic fans will be pleased. Mega Ghost from Albatross. This is issue number three. We've got some of those copies, so those that are, are fans of that. Fight Club, Fight Club number two, finally. This is cover A. This is the uh, David Mack cover. I think there's, I think there's four covers this time. There. I want to say. There's five covers on the first issue. Maybe there's three covers on this issue. But there's one less cover this time. So maybe it's only three as opposed to four. But here's some more of the David Mack covers on that. So we have New Savage Sword of Conan number two. This great cover by John Basema. Look at that great John Basema cover. Isn't that thing nice? Or are we saying that's not John Basema, that's Alex Ross? Uh, Hope Alex gave credit to John somewhere. Here we have another Fight Club issue. I'm not happy where the logo is on this, but this is this is cover B. You have the logo at the bottom, Dark Horse. You have your your Dark Horse logo at the bottom, but you can certainly make room for the UPC code at the top. Hmm. 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 I see we have the connecting variant for Avengers No Road Home right here. This has been a decent series. And they're going to be introducing Conan into the series. I think in issue 6, they bring him into the mainstream Marvel Universe. So that may be a very hot title. It caused me to increase my orders by uh, several copies. It's a $5 book, too. I didn't go hog wild on it, but it's very possible it might be a little bit more in demand. Cover B of Sonic. Here we have... This is cover B of the new Spawn. This is the Virgin cover. Buying a few more copies of that because I have more people asking about it. So I try to pay attention and adjust my orders out as need be. If something is selling, I am certainly going to order more copies. The same way if something is not selling, like I'm going to find Moon Girl is in this uh, batch here. I'm down to ordering just one copy of Moon Girl, so there's no longer a shelf copy any longer. Here we have Buffy number two. This is cover C of this Buffy series. Now, putting that at the top and putting the Buffy on the side, not a good idea. People will be like, well, what the hell is Italy doing on the top row with the A's and B's? 
not a very good idea not very thought out some of these companies are supposedly supposedly they're smart but they do uh, they do dumb AOL things let's see we got superior spider-man issue number three this is the dr. Octavius spider-man here he has the power of the cosmic spider-man so I'm looking forward to reading that he's taking on Terax the terrible so this should be pretty damn good and let me take a look through this real quick uh, is this the I'm not sure if this is the last this should still be February yeah this is still fe considered February comics let's see if in March if they have a new Stan soapbox that they reprint which I certainly hope that they do. They should do Stan Soapbox reprints every month this year in honor of, of his passing. Let's see, we've got Edgar Allan Poe's Snifter of Terror. We've got that for a customer. I've got some more on reorder. I hope to get them. Here we've got a book that should have been out in February of 2018. John Wick. This is cover B on that. Better late than never, right? Connecting cover to The Extremist. There we go. I'm not sure. He's got the blob up there, but look at him. He's got a he's got a porn star WWF mustache. Bone Parish. The new Bone Parish. So we've got the customer order form for my one customer that does turn his orders in. Got that blade, got a naughty cover, so I get set aside for one of my customers. Here we've got the new issue of Congratulations, Class of 2018, Slayer. I wonder if uh, Slayer is getting some money for this. Hey, Carrie, Tom, you guys getting money for that? Oh, actually, it's the new issue of Buffy. Again, you can't put Buffy along the top there. Come on, Boom Studios. Epic fail. From Image, Oliver. Oliver number two. He wants some more porridge. Here we've got the Alex Ross cover on Captain America number eight. It's a nice cover there. I see Daredevil. I see another John Wick in these boxes looking at me. We'll put the Captain America covers. Let's move those over here. So we got Captain Marvel, Braver, and Mightier. I think this is a Ron Lim cover. It is a Ron Lim cover. It'd be nice if Ron actually did stuff on the inside again. His artwork is so, so, so very, 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 very nice. I miss seeing you do in interiors, Ron. Cover C, the photo cover for John Wick. And I might as well cover, pull this out. I think this is the cover A for John Wick, number five. I think that's the last issue of that series. And I see we do have a couple more copies of the Action 1008. We've got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number 36. Copy set aside for some customers. So you've got True Believers reprints Marvel or Avengers Annual 10, which featured the first appearance. You got great Michael Golden artwork, but the first appearance of Rogue. This is where Carol lost her powers to Rogue. And you're getting this thing for a buck. Man, you get a lot of comics for a buck there. Peter Canyon Thunderbolt cover A to take off on Leonardo da Vinci, of course. I see Batman Beyond, I see Black Panther, I see Daredevil. He dares evil. He dares them. So we've got the regular A cover on Black Panther.
So we've got an Invader Zim. That's cover A. I just buy one copy now because unfortunately I can't sell more than that. And we've got this great cover here. Ooh, this thing's a beauty right here. This will probably be hot because you'll see just how nice it is. Look at that. Look at that art germ cover. Look at that. Man, oh man. Look how nice that looks. Wow. That's pure beautiful right there. A few more of those down here. Actually, I think I just got one more down here. It'd be really cool to see Art Germ do a comic. I'm not sure if he could do a comic. But, um, no customer, Alec, could probably tell you that he turned me on to Art Germ. So thanks, Alec. I think he's in Colorado now, and he's at a casino up there, and he runs a poker tables. Batman Beyond, number 29. That's the Virgin cover. And speaking of Virgin covers, of course, that uh, Art Germ cover was a Virgin cover also. Justice League Odyssey. Number six, Life is Strange. These are copies being set aside for some customers. Got Hellboy and the BPRD number uh, 1956, issue number four. I saw the new trailer for Hellboy the other day. I am excited about that. I don't know about anybody else. It looks pretty damn cool. Seeing him come out of the fire with the crown and with the sword and everything else looks pretty damn good. I am going to, that's going to get first week's money out of me. Captain Marvel, braver, braver, braver and mightier. This is a one shot. Okay. I see Black Hammer. I see Flash also. Black Hammer, Age of Doom. Cover A. Now, this might be something that might need to be addressed. If you look at the staples, that's kind of normal and that's kind of off. And that's kind of off too. So maybe copies all might be like this. They might be uh, doing a recall or not so much recall or just reprinting those uh, copies. That might be a problem. Here's the new issue of the Terrifics, which has been pretty good. I've enjoyed this. This is better than the Fantastic Four. Dan Slott might not want to hear you say that, but it is. His Fantastic Four is blow. Uh, not as good as they should be. The artwork's a lot better, though. Here we've got Old Lady Harley, number five. And I see that we've got the other cover to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, so somebody's going to be happy with that. We've got Grimm's Fairy Tales Day of the Dead trade paperback. That's being set aside for a customer. We're going to pause this so I can get my phone, and I've got a customer that walked in also. So we're going to pause this quick. Okay, we're back. And a uh, customer that uh, he's going to call in, uh, let's call in his order. New guy, uh, the have comics set aside for him tomorrow. I asked him if he can call me back in about 15 minutes. That way I can finish up here. Uh, but here we got the new issue of Flash, number 65. This has a special cover by Michael Golden. This makes it special. Uh, I'm gonna, I ordered more of these. I'm going to have to try to reorder more because I think this book is going to be a little bit in demand just because it's a very cool cover. And also because Michael Golden is a true master. Got Redlands, set aside for a customer. Here we go. I see the Daredevil. I see more Fight Clubs. And issue number two of Daredevil. Got that right there. So we've got a virgin cover. This is the, I think the one in 15 Firefly. So I'll set that aside for a customer. I see we have the regular covers to Avengers No Road Home.
and we've almost burned through this box pretty quickly. This is the last stack of, of comics. We've got Fight Club. This is probably what cover B, cover C of Fight Club. So maybe maybe just the the three covers this time. So we've got the new issue of Silencer, issue number fourteen. Take a quick look here. I don't think this is the last issue. Nope, not quite. Not quite the last issue. So I don't know if 15 would be the last issue of that. So we got Fantastic Four. This is a suppose, secret variant or a variant that we could order whatever. I ordered just a few copies. I didn't think it was that great. I could order whatever I wanted, but I thought it could have been better cover. Personally, I don't like how the thing looks. He looks too human. Uh, look at Jack Kirby, look at John Buscema, look at John Byrne, look at uh, Walt Simonson. The thing does not have a human-looking face. You can tell he's got eyes and mouth and everything, but no, he shouldn't really be looking human. He's not more human than human. He's the thing. And he don't love life. Because he's just an ugly monster. See, so we got Detective 999. One more issue to go to issue 1000. This is the regular cover. To Detective 999. We've got the John Burns in another uh, box. We've got uh, got some coming in. Then I got some more coming in next week. The rest of my copies will be in next week. But we've got Detective 999. And again, as always, if you do like these videos, certainly subscribe. If you do subscribe, be sure to smash that bell for notifications. I certainly thank you for watching and enjoy the last Tuesday of February 2019. And remember, go out to get your comic books tomorrow. And then again, don't forget to thank your local comic shop owner for doing what he does and all the hard work that he does. I should do a video sometime of me moving all my comics around. I do a lot more than any other shop in the country does. Uh, but... That would take a long time. Maybe I can like shoot it and we can speed it up or something. Just to show you guys. You guys would be blown away with the amount of work that I do. We have, I've got five weeks worth of comics. I've got new comics this week. Comics last week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks ago. But other than that, this is a video two of four. And we'll be back with video three. Thank you.